हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू द कोर्स डिजिटल इलेक्ट्रॉनिक्स एंड कंप्यूटर ऑर्गेनाइजेशन प्रेजेंटेड बाय डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ इंफॉर्मेशन टेक्नोलॉजी संजीवनी कॉलेज ऑफ इंजीनियरिंग कोपरगांव इन दिस टॉपिक 2.6 रेजिस्टर्स फ्रॉम यूनिट टू सीक्वेंशियल लॉजिक सर्किट वी शेल स्टडी दिस सब टॉपिक्स फोर बिट रजिस्टर रजिस्टर विथ पैरल लोड देन फोर बिट शिफ्ट रजिस्टर एंड फाइनली द यूनिवर्सल शिफ्ट रजिस्टर सो दिस इज द डिजाइन ऑफ फोर बिट रजिस्टर द डेफिनेशन ऑफ रजिस्टर इट इज the group of flip flop we can define resistor as group of flip flops and as we know the flip flops are used for storing the binary bits 0 and 1 as they have got two states that is set state and reset state when their state is reset they are said to they are said to store zero whereas when its state is one uh, then they are said to uh, when their state is set then they are uh, it is said that they are storing one uh, for the design of uh, resistors usually d flip flop that is uh, sometimes also called d latch uh, is uh, used commonly used so here we have shown the design of a 4 bit resistor with uh, a d flip flop and the design is uh, such that uh, we can store bits in this flip flop uh, simultaneously with the help of four uh, inputs i0 i1 i2 and i3 and uh, the outputs of this particular flop will be available at a0 a1 a2 and a3 because there are four inputs to the flip flop uh, it is possible to simultaneously load bits into all the four flip flops so this particular arrangement of uh, flip flops uh, to form a four bit resistor is called parallel in parallel out shift resistor uh, so uh, the inputs are given to the d inputs of each of the flip flop all the clock inputs they are connected together and uh, clock signal can be given uh, here so essentially resistor this particular resistor and uh, all resistors uh, they are synchronous circuit uh, whereas uh, when it is required you can use this particular reset uh, so as to reset this particular uh, this resistor or the flip flops in that particular resistor now to illustrate the operation of this particular four bit resistor in the beginning uh, let us say that uh, 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 or we don't know what is the state of uh, the flip flops it is unknown even Uh, it is not known what are the current inputs uh, so it has been shown with the x or the don't care mark that is the state of the flip flops may be anything and uh, the input uh, to this particular flip flop may be anything but what happens is that after uh, some time uh, we give a reset uh, input to this particular Uh, resistor and uh, 
giving a short reset pulse will uh, will reset all the flip flops and the output of all the flip flops will be 0 0 0 0 so register uh, is set to store the bits 0 0 0 0 now uh, we change we remove that particular reset pulse and we change the input to 1 1 1 1 so this is the sample input taken so instead of 1 1 1 1 we can we may take any of the input like 1 1 0 0 or 0 0 1 1 or 1 0 0 1 anything it can be any 4 bit input that can be given to this particular 4 bit register so uh, this input is given uh, but there is no clock pulse yet so these uh, flip flops will not change this deep flip flop will not change its uh, state its state will be 0 0 0 0 only but uh, when we give this particular uh, uh, clock pulse positive at the positive edge of the clock at this particular clock input because this particular uh, deep flip flop they are positive edge triggered so at the positive edge of the clock uh, whatever is the data input uh, it is stored or uh, it is uh, re gets reflected into its state so if the input is 1 the deep flip flop uh, in input will also be 1 and uh, if the input is 0 the deep flip flop input is also 0 so deep flip flop essentially which is called the delay flip flop so that will be its output uh, is same as that of its input but only after uh, some delay that is the delay will be uh, the time up to which the positive age is received by this particular flip flop so the output of uh, or the data stored bit stores in this particular flip flop will be 1111 so after that even if we remove this 1111 input then this flip flop will continue to store 1111 in it okay uh, whereas if we want to change again the input uh, or the data which is stored in this particular flip-flop uh, it can be done by by changing the inputs and giving a clock pulse at uh, the clock input of this particular resistor and the uh, state of the uh, flip-flop will change because uh, there are four inputs and four outputs uh, this particular uh, arrangement uh, of the resistor is called a parallel in parallel out we can simultaneously read the outputs or the contents of all the flip flops and uh, simultaneously in a single clock we can write into all the four uh, flip flops so that is this is parallel in parallel out shift resistor the timing diagram can be shown for this particular shift resistor uh, so this is the clock input which can be given here uh, in the beginning uh, the uh, clock this is this these inputs they are 0 0 0 0 i 0 i 1 i 2 and i 3 are the inputs of this particular shift resistor and uh, they go up uh, so they become 1 from 0 so as a result of uh, it you can see that at the next positive edge at the next positive edge the outputs of the flip flop that which are a0 a1 a2 a3 so they also go 1 from uh, from 0 because the corresponding inputs they are going 1 then they remain 1 uh, at the positive edge, at every positive edge, uh, it will check or it will uh, it will try to uh, set or reset. But uh, because it is one only, so the outputs will be one only. Uh, at this stage, you can see that uh, the outputs are going, inputs are going i0, i1, i2, i3. Inputs are going low simultaneously, uh, but until the next positive edge is received by the flip-flop the outputs will continue to remain one and at the time when the positive clock 
is received by all the flip flops its output will go uh, zero okay because all the inputs they are going zero all the outputs will go uh, to zero okay so if we uh, give some other input than zeros all zeros and all ones accordingly the outputs a0 to a1 will be appropriately 0 and 1 so this is the timing diagram for the 4 bit parallel input parallel output shift resistor with 0000, 0, 0, 0 input given to it and uh, 1111 input given later on uh, next we see the 4 bit shift resistor which is of the kind serial input and serial output so it is uh, called serial input serial output shift resistor so in this uh, there is only one input and that is called the serial input and there is only one output uh, data output that is called serial output so we cannot simultaneously load data into this particular resistor uh, which is 4 bit so you need four clocks so that uh, four bits of data can be shifted in uh, in this particular uh, shift resistor or even if it is required to read from this particular uh, shift resistor you, we need four clock pulses uh, so that the data will be shifted uh, to this particular uh, rightmost flip-flop uh, from where the data can be read out okay so uh, data which is received uh, will be will be stored or the serial input which is uh, uh, to be stored the bit to be stored is stored in this particular d flip flop and uh, then it is uh, uh, the, the previous contents of this particular d flip flop are stored in the next flip flop the previous contents of this D flip flop at the next clock will be shifted right to this particular flip flop, and the previous contents of this flip flop are shifted into this particular flip flop. Okay. Whereas when you shift one bit from left uh, inside this particular shift resistor, at that time, one bit which was stored in the rightmost uh, flip flop is lost. Uh, so when we are storing one new bit then uh, one rightmost bit uh, is removed from this particular four bit shift resistor okay so that was the uh, serial in serial out to shift resistor and now uh, <coughs> it is possible uh, that uh, the d flip flop uh, arrangement can be made uh, such that uh, we can load to this particular uh, uh, load to this particular d flip flop the bit uh, either parallelly from i0 i1 i2 and i3 or uh, if required we can shift the bits from uh, this flip flop to the next flip flop this flip flop that is first flip flop to the second flip flop second flip flop to the third flip flop third flip flop to the uh, to the rightmost flip flop and from the rightmost flip flop uh, the bit can be circulated and it can be shifted into uh, this particular uh, flip flop okay uh, or uh, 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 you, you can see this particular uh, load input when this particular load input uh, is 1 then uh, you, you can see that this particular output of the first inverter is uh, 0 so this is going to disable uh, the upper AND gates upper AND gates output will be 0 whereas uh, because the output of uh, uh, the second inverter will be same as load input which is 1 which we have considered to be 1 then this particular AND gates are 1 that means output of this particular AND gate will be same as this uh, I0 so this particular OR gate will OR it we know output of this AND gate is already 0 so it is 0 
plus I0. So eventually I0 input is given to this particular D flip flop. Okay, in the similar fashion, I1 input is given to this particular D flip flop. Uh, I2 input is given to this particular D flip flop. And I3 input is given to this particular rightmost uh, uh, D flip flop. Okay, and at the next clock, what will happen is that these four uh, D flip flops uh, gets parallelly loaded with I0, I1, I2, and uh, I3. Okay, whereas when this particular load is zero, so in that case, uh, this particular uh, uh, this particular uh, AND gates are enabled and in that case uh, what happens is that uh, the the output the same the output which was uh, which was being stored by this particular D flip flop uh, it is continued okay so uh, this particular D flip flop uh, will uh, will continue to store those particular uh, D inputs okay when this load is zero okay so that means this particular load is zero so even if we are going to change this particular I0 to I3 and even if uh, clocks are there even if clocks are there uh, at the next clock uh, uh, what this particular arrangement will do is that whatever was the last state whatever was stored in this particular flip-flop will be going to be the next state of the flip-flop okay but uh, when load is one at that time it will not be the last state of the flip-flop which will be copied but it will be this i0 i1 i2 and i3 that will be copied okay so this is the arrangement we can make for uh, parallelly uh, loading uh, the flip-flop uh, and in that case uh, the clock uh, signal uh, will be will be automatic in that case uh, <clears throat> there is a 4 bit shift register uh, which has the multiple uh, operations so uh, the ICs comes uh, in which the single IC works as uh, uh, different types of uh, uh, shift registers so usually uh, this particular IC supports four different operation that is when uh, it has got its operation can be selected with the help of S1 and S0. So when S1 and S0 are 0, 0 there is no change uh, whereas uh, if these, uh, these are uh, 0, 1 or 1, 0 it either, either shift the bits in this particular shift register to left or to the right uh, this particular shift register uh, has got four outputs so th that have been shown here uh, though it is single line so these are four outputs so it contains four uh, flip-flops then it has got parallel uh, four inputs uh, when data is to be loaded into this particular shift register at that time the S1, S0 bits, uh, they should be 1, 1. And if they are 1, 1, at the next clock, at the next clock input, the all four parallel inputs will get loaded into the uh, four flip-flops inside this particular shift register. And the output of the shift register, it will be same as that of the parallelly loaded uh, inputs. Uh, whereas, uh, it is possible that uh, you can use uh, the shift right mode or shift left mode so in the case if you are using this particular shift right or shift left mode then in case of uh, the shift right mode the new bit can be inserted into the uh, flip-flop uh, through the MSB in input uh, and uh, uh, the subsequently the uh, the bits in this particular flip-flops will be shifted towards uh, right whereas in case of shift left the input serial input can be given from LSB in and the bits in the four flip-flops inside this shift register will get shifted 
towards left uh, so like that uh, the flip flop can be used uh, as either parallel input parallel output flip flop or serial input uh, serial output flip flop or it can even be used as uh, parallel input first and then uh, serial output or <coughs> it can be used as serial input and parallel output so all four kinds of operations can be performed by using this particular flip-flop so usually it is referred to as universal shift uh, resistor the inside arrangement of uh, that particular universal shift resistor uh, is uh, like this so inside it there are four uh, d flip-flops and uh, you can see here this particular multiplexer uh, uh, decides this particular 4 is to 1 multiplexer uh, decides what will be the d inputs uh, to uh, each of this particular flip-flop okay for example uh, if we uh, consider the first flip-flop when s1 and s0 they are 0 0 then uh, you can see that uh, uh, the 4 is to 1 multiplexer will select uh, zeroth input and from where the zeroth input is coming it is coming from uh, the same flip-flop so what will happen that when s1 and s0 are 0 0 there is no change and uh, the next state of the flip-flop will be same but when the s1 and s0 they are 0 1 then it is it is shift right uh, so uh, you can see that this particular uh, uh, when it is 0 0 1 then 4 is to 1 multiplexer will select the first input and uh, uh, the the neg the the first input is coming from serial input for shift right okay so that means uh, whatever is the serial input here so that will be given as the uh, data input for this particular flip-flop okay whereas if we consider this particular 4 is to 1 multiplexer then uh, this 0 1 uh, input to this particular 4 is to 1 multiplexer uh, will take the input uh, from this particular flip-flop that means whatever was the state of this particular flip-flop uh, it will be copied into it will be copied into this particular flip-flop at the next clock so the serial write operation in the similar fashion the output of this flip-flop you can see goes to uh, this particular uh, flip-flop as an input and at the next clock it will be copied into this uh, so that is uh, what is the uh, 0 1 that is shift right okay so the bits will be shifted right whereas the new bit shifts uh, uh, new ser serial bit shifts into the leftmost uh, flip flop okay exactly reverse operation occurs for 1 0 that is shift left uh, we can see uh, here that uh, <coughs> that uh, for example for this if it is 1 0 then uh, it will select this particular second input now you can see that the second input is coming from the output of the left side uh, uh, left side flip-flop okay so the contents of this flip-flop will be transferred to this flip-flop okay so you can see that the output of this flip-flop is given as the input number 2 to this 1 0 will select this one and this goes as input to this okay in the similar fashion you can see that the output of this particular flip-flop is given as the uh, and the input 2 to this particular flip-flop and uh, uh, eventually uh, it goes as the data input to this particular flip-flop okay so like that the shift to left operation occurs at every clock the bits will be shifted uh, towards left whereas for this particular leftmost flip-flop the input comes from uh, the serial input uh, so this is the input which is to be uh, shifted into this particular flip-flop 
in case of the shift to left operation okay whereas when s1 and s0 they are 1 1 okay so you can see that 1 1 uh, given to all this multiplexer will select their uh, third input respectively and uh, this particular third input is coming from the parallel inputs i3 i2 i1 and i0 respectively so whatever input you are giving here at the next lock uh, those input will be uh, the will be stored into this particular d flip flop okay so this is how is the uh, universal shift uh, uh, register working in the four different modes uh, as defined by the inputs S1 and S0. Uh, so uh, <clears throat> this is what uh, we have uh, discussed in this particular topic in the beginning 4-bit register uh, which was the parallel uh, in parallel out register then we discussed uh, the shift resistors which were uh, uh, serial in serial out uh, kind and then finally we discussed about the universal shift resistor which supports all uh, the four uh, types of shift resistor uh, which is uh, serial in serial out serial in parallel out parallel in serial out and parallel in parallel out shift resistor Next topic uh, is uh, design of uh, sequence counters.